Okay, well, we are going to find our bodies in a comfortable seated pose, just allowing the easy seat to help relax our mind and our bodies here today. Just allowing ourselves to cool off, feeling the body just go inward. Maybe we can gaze our eyes downward if that feels good. Our tummy, our core is nice and tight. Spinal cord is nice and elongated, meaning we are not sunken. Having a nice elongated spine helps us control the body. Taking a nice deep breath in. Exhale through the mouth. Breathe in deeply. Exhale fully. Taking a notice of how the breath feels within the body. As we breathe our palms at heart center, coming into a seated prayer, maybe our thumbs are touching the sternum, the center of our chest, if that feels good. As we use this time to take a couple of moments of silence and rest. Two more breaths. As we take a nice deep breath, we're gonna breathe our palms above our heads, flowing into that salute. Fingertips flows up towards the heavens. We're gonna open up that heart chakra, the chin is up. Interlacing those fingers with the pointer finger pointing up towards the heavens. We're gonna allow those arms to slightly flow towards the back of the room. You may feel this in your lumbar spine, your lower back. That heart chakra is open, that chin is up. Feeling a stretch within the body. We are opening up those shoulders. Two more breaths. And exhaling back the center, we're gonna separate those palms. We are now in our seated extended mountain. When our palms are separated, it's called an extended mountain. When our palms are together above our head, it's called a seated salute. In our extended mountain, we're gonna twist our bodies towards the right. Palms come downward towards the earth as we gaze over that right shoulder. We are now in that seated twist. Noticing how that twist relaxes and soothes that spinal cord. Keeping that core nice and tight, maybe slightly gazing your eyes down. As we hold this pose for three breaths. Two more breaths. Exhale, flow on the body back to center. We're going to come into a seated star. In our star, our palms are slightly outward towards the side. Seated star. Heart chakras open, chin is up. Feel in the movement here as we breathe. Exhale. Twist the body towards the left. Palms come downward. We're going to gaze over that left shoulder. Feel in that spinal cord decompress here as we gaze those eyes down. Four muscles, our tummies are nice and tight. Three more breaths. Two breaths. As we exhale back to center, coming into that star, chin is up. Flowing into that seated extended mountain, palms are above, but they are not together. Feeling that stretch. As we breathe our palms together into that seated salute, palms are together. Exhale, relaxing the palms down that heart center. Allowing those shoulders to relax downward away from the ears. A lot of times we sit in tension with our shoulders shrugged. Just relaxing those shoulders downwards. Helps us relax and soothe the upper parts of our bodies. It may even help with neck pain and shoulder tension. As we take a nice breath, exhale. Feel in our palms, relax on our laps. It's placing those palms on our legs as those shoulders continue to relax down. Our tummies are tight, spinal cords are nice and elongated. Their heart chakra is open, meaning that chest is lifted, that chin is up. Eyes are slightly gazed down with a closed. 
As we use this time to focus on self, we're going to go in with self-reflection, five breaths of silence. Two more breaths. As we slowly awaken, we're coming, we're going to come into a bound position, coming into a diamond or a butterfly. The bottoms of our feet are together. This is our bound pose. This is a hip opener here. Using this pose to open up those hips, a diamond is a little bit more easier. Our feet are further away. It is a hip opener, but it's not as intense. That diamond pose allows the hips to open. Or that butterfly, bringing those feet a little closer to the body. That is a little deeper of a hip opener. So trying out both and doing what feels best for you and your body. They look almost identical, but one is called the diamond. One is called, one is called the butterfly. So just taking note of the two poses. We're going to place our palms, our hands on our feet. And just squeeze our toes and our feet together. Just taking a moment to show our feet a little love, appreciation. For our feet, if we walk, if we are walkable, our feet takes us everywhere we need to go. So we're going to take a little moment of just applying pressure to our toes, just feeling our hands, massage our toes one at a time or our feet. Whatever parts of your foot, your feet, that feels good for you. We don't have to massage. We can simply hold our feet and just squeeze our feet if that feels good. Whatever you need. Keeping that core tight, meaning that tummy's tucked. Keeping that spinal cord low with, with the eyes gazed down. Four more breaths. We are in our diamond or our butterfly. Showing a little attention to our feet. Two more breaths. And if we choose, we want to go deeper in this pose, we can hinge at the hips, meaning we're going to lean forward. Noticing that when we hinge at the hips, we're going even deeper here in that, in that hip flexor. We are opening up our inner thighs. So hinging downward, if that feels good, we can come halfway. Or we can allow those shoulders to come downward closer towards the earth. We can also allow that head to drop downward towards the feet. Notice that when that head falls, we go even deeper into that stretch. Those shoulders melt forward. Four muscles are tight. We're going to hold this pose. Four more breaths. Two breaths. Using our hands to push our torsos away from our feet. Just coming back up to a diamond or a butterfly. Up nice and tall. Heart chakras open, chin is up. Taking a nice breath. Exhale. You're going to straighten out that right leg. Bringing that right leg to the side. Just feeling that stretch. Bodies are nice and elongated. So we're using our hands to position our bodies to feel nice and tall. Keeping that heart chakra open, meaning that chest is up, chin is up, and just feeling that pose here. Taking this right hand, bringing this right hand down towards our right knee or our right ankle or our right toes. And we're going to feel that stretch. You'll feel it behind your legs here in your hamstrings as our torso leans over that right thigh. Keeping that chest up. Keeping that, um, that spine elongated. Chin is up. And if we choose, we can take this left hand and breathe it up in the air, over the head. And we can stretch this left hand over the head, coming deeper if that feels good. Mm. You'll feel this stretch here in that side body. We're getting that nice, deep stretch here. Holding this for three more breaths. Two breaths. Using the hands to breathe us up. We are nice and elongated. We're going to breathe that 
Right foot back into that diamond or that butterfly. Just for a second, heart chakras open, chin is up. We're going to come into a cow, a cow face here. Just lifting that heart chakra up, that chin is up. We are in that cow. Noticing how that feels in our lumbar spine, our lower back. Notice how it also relaxes and soothes that right side of the leg. We just work behind our legs in that hamstring. We're going to hold this seated, bound cow pose. For two more breaths. Relax in the body. We're going to extend that left leg out towards the side. Feeling that stretch. Toes are pointed up. Positioning our bodies to be nice and elongated here. Buttocks is nice and relaxed. We can take this left hand to our left knee, our left ankle, or our left toes and feel that torso relax over that left thigh. We're going to keep that back, that spinal cord long as we lean towards the side. We can slightly gaze up at the heavens, or we can gaze forward or down at the earth, whatever feels best for your neck. Keeping in mind that my voice is just a guide. When we're doing poses, we're going to reposition ourselves to feel comfortable in the pose. If we choose, we can take this right arm and breathe it up in the air, or we can flow it over the head, feeling that nice deep stretch. You'll feel that stretch here in that side body. Yes, we are just relaxing and warming up our bodies here. Just allowing this pose to go. Within the body, filling it in the spine. Two more breaths. Exhaling back to center, breathing that leg inward, coming back into that diamond or that butterfly. Bound position. Our diamond or butterfly, they also like to call bound poses. We're going to come back into that cow, lifting that heart chakra up, that chin is up. And we're going to flow into our cat, tucking our tummy in at our navel. Our shoulders melt forward. Spinal cord flows to the back of the room. Cat pose. Chin comes to the clavicle. And we're going to do a couple of seated cat poses, cat cows to our natural breath. Coming to our cat, we're going to hold our cat pose. Tummies are tight. Spinal cords are flowed towards the back of the room. Chin is towards our clavicle. We're going to hinge downward, just allowing our torso to come closer to the earth if we're able. And we're going to extend our arms in front of us if that feels good. Just feeling that stretch here. Head melts downward between the shoulders, between the arms. Two more breaths. Using our hands to walk our torso back up into that diamond or that butterfly. Just walking that body up. Shoulders relax. Let's roll those shoulders backwards. Rolling those shoulders back. I'm just going to work on a couple of shoulder shrugs here. Lifting the shoulders up towards the ears and rolling them towards the back. <sighs> just feeling this. Loosen up the upper parts of the body just a little more. We're going to find that pause at center, and we're going to roll those shoulders forward. Three more breaths. We're going to find our pause, and we're going to straighten our legs, coming into a staff pose. Right leg, left leg comes forward. They are together. Toes are pointing upwards towards the heaven. Staff pose. Tummies are nice and tight. That core is strong and tight. Spinal cords are nice elongated. Shoulders relax downward away from the ears. Their heart chakras open. That chin is up. Slightly gazing the eyes down or closing the eyes. Here in our staff pose, our palms are relaxed on our thighs. As we take a couple moments to notice how this pose, this staff pose, feels within the body. We are gaze forward. Two more breaths. As we slightly hinge at the hips, allowing the torso to come closer to the thighs. We are in that seated half forward fold. 
and you'll feel this behind your legs. You'll feel it stretch behind your legs and your hamstrings. If you want to go deeper, we can come into a seated, complete forward fold, connecting the hands to the ankles or the bottoms of the feet. Allowing that torso to come closer to the thigh. Allowing that head, the forehead to relax downward towards your knees. Maybe our toes are pointing downward towards the earth. Maybe our toes are pointing upwards towards the heavens. The dorsi plantar flex with our toes. Whatever feels good. We're going to hold this. Four more breaths of silence. Three more breaths. Using our hands to walk our bodies back up. We are back in that staff pose. As we breathe our palms above our heads in our salute, chin is up, feeling that stretch. Interlacing the fingers, pointing the finger points up, arms slow slightly towards the back of the room. Keeping that core, your tummy nice and tight. And exhaling back to center as we breathe our palms down our heart center, coming into that prayer. Relaxing those shoulders downward away from the ears. As we are gaze forward with our eyes slightly closed to gaze down. Three breaths. Two breaths. Relaxing our body, slightly opening our eyes. We're going to cross our feet at our ankles if that feels good as we come into a tabletop pose. Coming onto our hands and our knees, whichever way feels best for you. And our tabletop, palms are flat on the earth. Our knees are hip distance apart. And we're going to drop that body down to our cow, allowing that tummy to come downward towards the earth. You'll feel that sunken spine. Chin is slightly up. Noticing how this cow pose feels within the body. It is great for low back pain. We're going to hold this cow for three breaths. Two breaths. Flow into our cat. Tummy comes up. Spinal cord comes up. Chin flows towards the clavicle. Tucking that tummy in nice and tight. Two more breaths. As we do a couple of cat cows to our natural breath. Two more breaths. We're going to find our pose at center. We are back in that table, top pose. We're going to take this right arm and breathe it up towards the heavens. We're going to gaze at the right fingertips, feeling that stretch. We're going to work on our thread the needle. Breathe in. Exhale, thread that right arm through the left. Heart chakra comes down with towards the earth. Or our head just relaxes onto the earth. You'll feel that, that stretch and that twist in your spine. Allow those shoulder blades to melt forward as their heart chakra connects to the earth. Slightly gaze any eyes down or close any eyes. Our thread the needle has various ways we can be in its pose. We can extend our arm in front of us, palm flat on the earth, and that thread the needle. We also can wrap that left arm behind our backs and our thread the needle. Or we can simply just keep that left palm flat on the earth next to our bodies. Whatever thread the needle you choose to be in in this moment. May we relax and soothe, feeling a heartbeat connect to the earth, allowing those eyes to close. I will further needle, may it be our resting and relaxing pose for five natural breaths.
Two more breaths. Exhale, and now we're going to thread the needle coming back into that table. Dropping the body down to cow. Exhale, cats. Flowing back to our table as we breathe that left arm up in the air. Fingertips flows towards the heaven. Gazing up at those left fingertips. Feeling that stretch. Taking a nice breath. Exhale, thread the needle. Left arm throws. Flows through the right heart chakra comes down towards the earth. Feeling that body relax as the shoulders melt forward. As the eyes gazes down and closes. Our hearts connecting to the earth. Vibing with our universe. We are finding our comfort. We are finding our still. Keeping in mind there's various ways that we can be in our, our thread and needle. May we find the thread and needle that feels best for us as we relax here, five natural breaths of silence. Two more breaths. Finding our relaxation here, we're going to slightly come out of that thread and needle and we're going to flow right into a puppy pose. Noticing how the puppy pose is very similar to that thread and needle. But that's is in the air. Heart chakra comes down towards the earth. Our palms, both of our palms are in front of us, flat on the earth. That forehead, our third eye chakra, connects to the earth. Because we are going to take a couple more moments here to vibe with ourselves, to vibe with our environment. We are taking a couple more moments of peace and silence here. And our puppy calls six breaths. We can opt you to breathe our palms together and flow them above our heads in a puppy pose prayer hands if that feels good. We're going to do a bonus, four more breaths. We're going to continue our relaxation flow here as we flow into a child's pose, allowing our buttocks to come down to the heels of our feet. We are now in that child's pose. Maybe we are in a child's pose prayer hands, or maybe we are in an extended child's pose, meaning both palms are in front of us, palms flat on the earth. Child's pose prayer or extended child's pose, allowing that heart chakra to connect to the earth, keeping those eyes gazed downward or closed. Take a nice, subtle breath. Five more breaths of silence. Two more breaths. Hanging out here in our child's pose, we're going to walk our fingers out here slightly towards the right. Feeling that side, stretching that side body.
Two more breaths. Walking our fingers back to center. We are back in that extended child's pose. As we walk our fingers and our arms to the opposite side, coming into that side child pose stretch. Two more breaths. Exhale and back to center. Palms are flat on the earth. We are in that extended child's pose. Two breaths. With our palms flat on the earth, we're going to spine to wave our bodies out of our child's pose, using our palms to wave our bodies forward and using our palms to wave our buttocks towards our heels. Just feeling that spinal wave. The spinal wave relaxes, soothes, and decompresses the spine. Keeping that core muscles nice and tight. Two more breaths. As we find our claws at center, we're going to push the body up to down dog, gazing at the feet. Feeling that nice stretch here in our down dog, pushing our torso towards our thighs. If we choose, we can walk our dog by pedaling our feet, left and right. Our core, meaning our tummy, is nice and tight here. We are building strength in our arms, the upper parts of our bodies. Finding paws, shifting the weight forward, high plank. Exhale, back down dog. As we walk our feet towards our hands, complete forward fold. <sighs> Feeling that stretch behind the legs and the hamstrings as our head melts downward towards the earth. Optioning to yogi walking our feet slightly apart, creating that nice stance here in that child's pose. As we take a nice deep breath, exhale through the mouth. This complete forward fold is a full body stretch. It also relaxes and soothes and regulates the heartbeat. Three more breaths. Coming into a half forward fold, slightly gazing forward, that backs are nice and straight. Two more breaths. As we flow back down to a complete forward fold, and if we choose, we're gonna come into a rag down this time, hugging our elbows with our hands. Optioning to rock and sway the body from side to side, just going left and right, just like a pendulum. Left and right, just feeling the hamstring stretch when we move the body left and right. Now we already feel the hamstring stretch, but to feel a deeper stretch, we can rock and sway. We ever have clients that say they have tight hamstrings, a half forward fold to a complete forward fold is an easy stretch to loosen up the hamstrings. Three more breaths. Finding pause at center, half forward fold. Strengthening our bodies up, coming into a tadasana. Maybe we're in a wide-legged tadasana. Toes are pointing outward towards the edges of our yoga mat. Palms are at our side. Heart chakra is open, meaning our chest is up. Our chin is up. Palms are relaxed at our side. Our shoulders relax downward away from our ears. Taking a nice deep breath in. Exhale. As we breathe our hands to cactus hands, we're going to bend our knees, coming into that goddess stance. We are now working the lower parts of our bodies. Our chin is slightly up. Exhale into a standing star, straight to the nose, knees, bringing our palms out towards the side. Now we're in that standing star, heart chakras open. 
In our star, we are feeling nice and powerful. We are feeling confident and firm in who we are. With our feet planted to the earth, we are grounded in who we are and what we want to be. In our standing star, may we always remember to shine brightly no matter what. We are our light at the end of the tunnel. We will shine brightly no matter what. We are our own star. Be mindful that when we are in our star, we are knowing our power. We are power regardless. We are power. As we come back down to our goddess, we're God's stance because we are the goddess and God's in our lives. Heart chakras open, shut us up as we build strength on the lower parts of our bodies. We're building strength because we are strength. We are strong. As we feel our little parts of our bodies working and burning, we're going to pulse up and down, just going a little bit further and deeper in this pose, knowing that we got this. We can build strength. No matter how much it burns, how much it hurts, we're going to still flow. We are strength. As we rock that body from side to side, feeling that burn, because in life it burns, in life it hurts. But guess what? We got this. We are power. We are strong. We are gods. We are goddesses. We can find our pause if we choose. Two more breaths. Taking a nice deep breath. Exhale to a standing star. Straightening those legs, straightening those arms. That heart chakra is open. That chin is up. Taking a nice deep breath. Exhale. Gazing those eyes down with a closing the eyes and a standing star. Maybe take this moment to pause, to reflect, to be mindful of self and who we are. Four breaths of silence. Two breaths. In the standing star, we are feeling our arms burning. We are standing still, right? But we are still building strength. Don't let no one ever tell you that standing still sometimes isn't building strength. Sometimes standing still is needed. Sometimes we have to pause and reflect and look, and then we move. Still in the arms burn here in our standing star for three more breaths. Breathing our palms above our heads, connecting our fingers together. As we yogi walk our feet back together, we are now in our standing salute. We can have a slight stance if that feels good. Here in our salute, our palms are together above our heads. As we interlace those fingers with that pointer finger pointing up towards the heavens. Our heart chakra is still open. Our chin is up. As we allow, as we allow our arms to slightly flow towards the back of the room, that chin is up. You'll feel this slight back bend here. We are relaxing and soothing the spine. Just allowing that body to bend a little backwards. Because sometimes in life, we will have to bend backwards. But we got this. We are flexible in our bodies, in our minds, in our lives. We are flexible. Two more breaths. Exhaling back to center, separating those palms. We are now in that standing extended mountain. As we lean our bodies towards the right, we are in that standing side bend. You'll feel this stretch here in your side body. Slightly gazing up at the heavens or gazing forward or gazing downward at the earth. Whatever feels best for you. Three breaths. Two breaths. Exhale and back to center. As we lean our bodies towards the left, opposite side, feeling that stretch in the side body, standing side bend. Our tummy, our core is nice and tight. Three more breaths. Exhale and back to center. <sighs> Breathing our palms together as we bring our palms to our heart center, coming into that standing prayer. Relaxing those shoulders downward away from the ears. <sighs> Keeping our palms to our heart center, we're going to slightly hand at the hips. Prayer hands, half forward fold. Backs are straight. You'll feel this stretch here behind your legs and your hamstrings. Keeping that back straight, slightly gazing forward. Two more breaths. We can bring our feet closer together if we choose as we flow into a chair pose. We are now in our prayer hand chairs. 
or we are in our extended chair, breathing our palms above our heads, or slightly in front of us, extended chair, or prayer hand chair. This is building strength for the noble parts of our bodies. If we're in our extended chair, we're going to breathe our palms to our heart center. And we're going to twist the body towards the right. Chair pose, twist, four breaths. Two breaths. Exhale into center. Chair pose, twist, opposite side. Feeling a burn in our legs. Four breaths. Two more breaths. Exhale back to center. Two more breaths. Exhale, half forward, fold, straighten the nose, knees, keeping that back straight, slightly gaze forward. Taking a nice deep breath. Exhale. Two more breaths here. Exhaling down to a complete forward fold. Feeling that stretch. This is a full body stretch. Allowing that head to melt down. Three more breaths. We're going to walk our hands forward, keeping our feet towards the back. We are in our down dog. Walking our dog by pedaling our feet left and right. As we find that pause, we're going to lift that right leg up, three-legged dog, gazing back at that foot. Bringing that right knee to that elbow. Coming back to three-legged. Knee to elbow, back to three-legged. Knee to elbow, back to three-legged. Exhale and down dog. As we switch sides, right, I'm sorry, left leg flows up in the air, three-legged, opposite side, gazing at the foot. Gonna breathe that knee to that elbow, feeling that crunch. Back to three legged. Knee to elbow, feeling that crunch. Back to three legged. Knee to elbow. Back to three legged. Exhale and down dog. We're gonna keep on flowing. We're gonna breathe that right foot. To that right hand, runners lunge. Just holding this pose for a couple breaths. Let's straighten that front leg, flowing into a pyramid. Torso relaxes over that thigh, head is down. We just went from a runner's lunge to a pyramid, noticing how each pose flows together. Exhaling back to that runner's lunge. Here in our lunge, we're going to hold this pose, ensuring our feet is nice and strong on the earth. We're going to place that left hand flat on the earth. Left hand flat on the earth. We're going to lift this, twist the body towards the right. Right arm flows up towards the heavens. We are in our revolved lunge twist. Whenever our body is twisted towards our thigh, our leg, it's called a revolved pose. Still in this stretch, four breaths. Two breaths. Exhale back to center. We're going to place this right palm flat on the earth. Now, both of our palms are flat on the earth. We are in that runner's lunge with both palms flat on the earth. We're going to twist their body towards the left. Left arm flows up towards the heaven. Now, we're in that lunge twist. Just feeling that stretch, opening up their heart chakra, opening up that side. Three more breaths. Two breaths. 
Exhale back to center, both palms are flat on the earth. Breathe down dog, gazing at the feet. As we walk on with dog, our pedal on our feet, left and right. Tummies, muscles are nice and tight. We're gonna find that pause. Breathe in that left foot to left hand. Run this lunge opposite side. Just taking a moment to catch our breath here in our runner's lunge pose. As we straighten that left leg, now we're in that pyramid. As our torso relaxes over that thigh, allowing that head to relax downward towards the knees. Feeling that stretch. Two more breaths. Exhaling back to that runner's lunge, bending that front knee. Placing that right palm flat on the earth. We're going to lift this left arm up, twisting that body towards the left. Low lunge, revolve, twist, opposite side. We did it on the other side, and then we're doing it on this side. Feeling that twist is called a revolve twist because our bodies are twisted towards that thigh. Opening up their heart with their arm up in the air. Three more breaths. Two breaths. Twisting forward, exhaling back to center. Now that left palm is flat on the earth next to that right palm. We're going to twist that body towards the right. Right arm flows up towards the heavens, feeling that stretch opposite side. We are opening up that chest as we lift that arm up in the air. We are in our twist. Three more breaths. Two breaths. Exhale, both palms are flat on the earth as we breathe to down dog. Giving our bodies a little rest, rest here, we're going to come into a dolphin pose. Coming on our forearms, buttocks is high in the air. We are gazed at the back of the room. Dolphin pose. <laughs> Maybe walking our feet slightly closer to our bodies here in this dolphin. Just take a note that this dolphin pose prepares the mind and bodies for headstand. So if we or our clients are interested in getting into headstand poses, a dolphin pose is a lovely practice. We're going to hold this pose relaxing and building strength. And now four at once. Three more breaths. Dropping down to our knees. We're going to come into a puppy. Just allowing our bodies to relax a little more. Puppy pose. Heart chakra comes down to the earth. Forehead, third eye chakra connects to the earth if that feels good. We can be in a, an extended puppy or a prayer hand. We can even breathe our palms to the backs of our feet and connect our hands to our feet in our puppy. Two more breaths. Coming out of that puppy, coming to our table. As we drop our bodies down to our cow. Chin is up, feeling this in your lower spine. Exhale to cat. Coming back to our table, pushing that body back to our down dog. We're gonna breathe our right foot to our right hand. One more time, we are in that runner's lunge. Exhaling up to warrior two, lifting that body up, hands to the front, hands to the back, warrior pose, because we are the warriors of our lives. We are warriors. Using this warrior to build strength in the lower parts of our bodies as we build strength within ourselves and our warrior. Two more breaths. Chin is up. 
Tell them to reverse warrior. Breathe in that right arm above the head. Left hand flows towards the back. Chin is up. Heart chakra is open. Few more breaths. Going back to warrior two. As we twist that body forward, coming into warrior one. Or high lunge. Twisting that left foot forward. We are in a high lunge. Or warrior one. Back foot is slightly twisted. Noticing how that high lunge and warrior one looks very similar. Two more breaths. Exhale and back to warrior two. Twisting that body forward, wide-legged, half forward fold, backs are straight. Rocking and swaying that body from side to side here in that half forward fold. Just feeling that body, that torso, move towards the thighs, left and right. And you'll feel that stretch behind your legs and your hamstrings, behind your knees. Just relaxing and soothing the muscles we just worked. <sighs> Finding our pause after two more breaths. Exhale into a complete forward fold. Head melts down. Walking our hands forward, bringing our feet towards our back. We don't go. Tummy so tight. Breathing our left foot to our left hand. Runners lunge. One more time. Opposite side. Runners lunge. As we exhale up to our warrior two, lift that body away from the earth. Warrior two, palms to the front, palms to the floor. Heart chakras open, chin is up. Feeling nice and strong here in our warrior as we build strength to the lower parts of our bodies. Take a nice subtle breath here. Exhale, reverse warrior, lifting that left arm up above the head. Heart chakras open, chin is up. Two more breaths. Exhale, back to warrior two. Two breaths. Twisting that body forward to warrior one or high lunge, whatever feels best for you. Chin is up, two more breaths. Exhale back to warrior two. Twisting that body forward. Exhale, downward, half forward, fold, wide legged. Uh, backs are straight, gaze forward. And we can option to rock that body from side to side, relaxing and soothing those muscles in our legs. We just worked. Head melts down, coming into a complete forward fold. We are wide legged. Mm. Taking a nice deep breath. And exhale through the mouth. Feeling that body relax and soothe here in this full body stretch. Two breaths. Coming up to a half forward fold. We're gonna hold this pose just for a second. We're gonna take this left hand and breathe this left hand to that right ankle. Left hand to right ankle. We're gonna wrap this right arm around our backs how we're doing our thread the needle. And we're going to slightly gaze over our right shoulder. Twisting that body towards the right, feeling that wide legged twist. We are soothing and stretching and relaxing that spinal cord. Three more breaths. Two breaths. Exhale to center, half forward fold. 
as we take this right hand towards that left ankle. We're gonna wrap this left arm around our back. How we doing our thread the needle? As we gaze over our left shoulder, twisting that body towards the left side. Final twist, wide legged. Feeling that spine decompress for three more breaths. Two breaths. Exhaling back to center, half forward, backs are straight, gaze forward. Breathe in deeply. Exhale fully. As we come down to a complete forward fold. Walking our hands forward, bringing our feet back together, bringing them to the back. Coming on down to our knees. We are in that table. Drop into cow. Exhale to cat. Coming back to our tabletop pose. We're going to cross our feet at our ankles. We're going to come on to our buttocks. Just for a second, we're going to throw on to our backs, coming into a recline position. Bringing our knees into our chest, recline knees to chest pose. Allowing those shoulders to relax back into the yoga mat. Eyes are slightly gazed downward. With our knees to our chest. We're going to lift our feet up, coming into a happy baby. Hands connect to the feet. In our happy baby, we can bring our hands between our thighs, bring them out to the side, and connect them to our feet. We can option to rock and sway the body from side to side in our happy baby, using the earth to relax and soothe that spine. Or we can just stay still in our happy baby and enjoy the pose. Four more breaths. Two breaths. Coming out of the happy baby, lifting our feet up in the air, legs on a wall or invisible wall. Pointing those toes upwards towards the heavens, feeling that ballerina's feet, pointing those toes to the heavens. As we breathe our legs towards our torso. Bringing our hands to the backs of our legs, lower parts. We're going to bring those legs closer to our body. Maybe lifting that buttock slightly off the earth. Feeling that stretch. Exhaling back up to legs on the wall. Coming wide-legged, allowing those legs to relax to the side. You'll feel this stretch here in your inner thighs. Maybe connecting your hands to your toes. Two more breaths. Breathing those legs back in, hugging those knees into the chest, allowing those knees to flow towards the left, recline spinal twist, left side, knees flows to the left, feel nice spinal cord twist, relax, decompress. <sighs> Breathing that left, that right arm out to the side if that feels good. Gazing over that right shoulder. Or gazing up at the heaven. As our eyes gaze down and close, we feel in the body, relax and soothe. Our shoulder blades melt back into the earth. Allowing the body to melt into our environment. Four breaths of silence. Exhale into center, breathing those knees into the chest. 
As we allow our knees to flow towards the right, we plant spinal twist, opposite side, knees flows to the right, fill in that spinal cord twist and relax. Left arm goes out to the side. We can gaze over that left shoulder. Or we can gaze up at the heavens. Whatever we do, our eyes are slightly gazed down or closed. Our bodies are melted back into the yoga mat as we are relaxing and soothing. Letting loose. Allowing it to release. Four breaths of silence. Exhale into center, hugging those knees into the chest. Crossing our feet at our ankles. We're going to lift our bodies up, coming into a boat pose. Lifting that body up, pores are tight. Lifting. You can stay downward to the earth and relax if that feels good for us. We are closing off our session. Just wanted to get a quick abdominal workout in here. Coming into that boat pose, if that feels good for you. <sighs> Four more breaths. Two breaths. Coming out of that boat pose, I'm going to flow into a cow face legs. Maybe find any seated pose that feels good for you. We can stay in our relaxing. Rest pose and our recline pose if that feels good. If we're in our seated pose, tummies are tight, spinal cords are nice and elongated, shoulders relax downward away from the ears, eyes are gazed downward or closed. As we take a nice deep intentional breath in, and exhale through the mouth, breathe in deeply, and exhale full. We can breathe our palms to heart center if that feels good. As we use this time to thank ourselves for allowing ourselves to practice self-care and teaching training here today. For well, it truly, truly was a blessing to be here with you and practice yoga. The light in me sees, appreciates, and respects the light in you all. Namaste.